Hey guys, today we're going to look at the reviews, what people are saying about this new season of Masters of the Universe Revolution. And just so you know, I've already watched it. I'll make a special video about my thoughts. If director Kevin Smith fooled us again, I might go as far to kill the guy. But first, let's take a look because the news, the news is saying it received a perfect score. It's a love letter to the fans. Really? Really? Let's react to the news here. Drop a comment below if you're going to give it another shot. If you've watched it already, if you liked it, all right, leave it in the comments. I quite like this Masters of the Universe with Dolph Lundgren's armor from the movie itself. In fact, there's a character from the movie that doesn't appear in the classic series, but does in this Netflix series. Well, listen up. It's called Masters of the Universe Revolution. Not Ryman got it. It's Masters of the Universe Revolution. And it debuted with a perfect score on Rotten Tomatoes. For those who may not know, Rotten Tomatoes is that online platform where critics give scores and we fans can go on and give scores too. And then they average it out, so to speak. What do I want to know from you guys? What do I want to know from you guys? First, I'm going to read the criticism. I'm going to comment on what I understood because critics talk hard. They're not people to say something easy. And you comment on what you thought if you have hope. Let's go. Look, 100% critics. Guys, guys, us, us guys, 81%. But look at the question. You got to know, look, there's six not that there are six critics, okay? But look, there's six comments from critics from those who gave a rating. And here's 50 reviews, 81% public score. Okay, huh? For people who were pissed off. But let's go. Let's go. Six episodes and something. I don't know what. Let's go to the criticism. Let's go to the criticism. Let's go. Criticisms. Oh, Masters of the Universe revelation, okay? Let's go. Not yet. I'm still a fan of Kevin Smith. Who's a fan of Kevin Smith, right? I'm still a fan of Kevin Smith. He did with this one. No, I'm still a fan of what Kevin Smith did with this show. I'm ready for more, but I wish this season had satisfied me the same way as the first series. Crazy guy, right? Alex Mead, he liked the previous seasons, and he's saying he liked this one less. He liked it, but he liked this one less. Look, so it was kind of a negative, right? Anyway, let me rephrase that. A negative in quotes. He liked it, but he liked it less than the first ones. Masters of the Universe Revolution offers a lot of fun and surprises, even though it tries to do too much. This problem is trying too much. Hollywood can't handle it like it's already been successful. It takes the recipe for success and does the same thing, you know? Of course, they improve the animation. I love the animation when the guys are going to fight. Wow, really cool. When He-Man fights, when he shows up, I made a video of how many times he's going to show up. Watch it later. But man, okay, the animation improved. You have to evolve in that area. But man, it doesn't change the essence of the thing. If you want to do something new, you make a new cartoon. You don't make the cartoon that already exists. That's why we get angry. I don't know if I want to watch the new Thundercats series either. Even though they've already ruined Thundercats a bunch, right? A gorgeous show with a plot and writing style that bring comfort in their familiarity to longtime fans. So you're saying that the folks, people from the old days, folks who comment below, if you're over 30, 35 years old, okay, because I'll be 40, right? So I saw it and I made a rhyme. Huh. However... Some dull action sequences and its short length hinder what could have been a classic that the audience would love. My question is this. Are there five or six episodes? I can't remember now. I watched it. I binge watched it. There are five episodes. I just saw it here. Five episodes. But didn't it break? It broke in half, didn't it? Like the other one, there will be five more, right? I think that's it, right? That's the first part. But let's proceed. The visuals are stunning. There you go, right? It's improved. Great, isn't it? It's gotten better. It's gotten better. The music is pulsing. The music is throbbing. The twists and turns are jaw-dropping. And by the end, you'll forget how old you are, point at the sky, and wave to the energy of Skull and feel like you truly have the power. Damn. Did you animate it already? 
Are you going to watch it? Revolution is a celebration and a love letter to the franchise, complete with fantastic animated visuals from Powerhouse Animation, an amazing soundtrack from Beer McCary, and the type of world building that makes Master of the Universe a legacy. Remember, this animation is meant to sell toys. It's Mattel's animation. It's never boring, but it does make it harder to place bets if an empowered hero is busy attacking them all. If you get me, I was excited even though I knew I could be hurt, let down, and deceived like before. But watch the video that I'm going to record about my review of He-Man, okay? But hey, did you like it? Have you watched it yet? Are you excited about this video? Comment below and remember, subscribe to the channel. I'm here two to three times a day informing you, updating you, entertaining you. And by the way, if this channel grows and it will grow with your help, okay? With your help, I will bring more videos to you. So you subscribed, liked it, and up next are the videos showing up here now. Totally makes sense for you to watch it. I'll see you in the next video, and I have the power. Let's go. See you later.